A very important choice you will make early on in Starfield is regarding your traits. They can have a huge impact on your playthrough, but you can only pick them during character creation, which happens about 20 minutes into the game. In case you didn't know, you can pick up the three of these and each trait gives you a benefit that also comes with a downside. After testing all of them, I found that some just have huge bonuses that easily outweigh the negatives, which really makes them worth picking over others. But I still want to go over most of them in this spoiler free video so you can still pick according to your preference but I will also share the best traits in my experience. And at the top of my list of recommendations is the dream home trait. While it does start you off with a 125,000 credit mortgage with Galbank that has to be paid weekly that is not the full picture. If you pick this trait you get a unique quest called dream home as soon as you leave the lodge for the first time so basically after completing your first main quest. This will give you both directions for your house which is in the Olympus system very close to Alpha Centauri and New Atlantis and the Galbank representative who you can talk to about your mortgage. We'll come back to him later because first let's check on our house. It's located in a beautiful spot of peace and quiet, has two floors and a lot of space for you to do some decorating. Because when you get it the place is mostly empty but by opening your scanner and then pressing the decorate button you can place a ton of different items to make the place your own provided you have the required materials. And it's not just furniture too, as you can build things like research stations, weapon racks and mission terminals in your house as well. So pretty much from the start you have a place where you can store your stuff, come to rest and do any kind of research or crafting all conveniently under one roof and you have a parking spot in the front yard. The big downside is of course that mortgage of 125,000 credits looming over your head so let's explain how that works. Rather than taking a sum of money from your funds every week you pay mortgage at the door. For 500 credits you get to stay in the house for a week and if you try and enter after that period has ended you'll be asked to pay the sum again. If you don't you're not able to enter your house but everything inside remains the same until you pay up and are able to enter again. And while I expected the price to rise by 500 every week turns out that's actually not the case. Effectively you can rent your own house for a week and then after that you need to pay up 500 credits again but you can choose when you do so and nothing inside your house changes while you're not paying rent. And there are even two permanent solutions to get rid of this problem as by talking to the Galbank representative in New Atlantis you can either pay off your mortgage or foreclose it. Paying mortgage makes the house yours, no need for those weekly payments and while 125,000 credits is quite a sum it's also a pretty nice house and I haven't found another way to buy that specific one. Alternatively if you pick dream home in character creation and don't like it anymore you can foreclose the house and be done with it. You'll of course lose access to the house but also everything inside it so make sure you clear it out if you're considering this option. Before we move on to more special traits that I definitely recommend you try out, if you've enjoyed the video so far it would be awesome if you could leave a like and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on more of our spoiler free Starfield content. So while having a dream home is really nice it's not the only trait that gives you access to a unique house although this next trait also introduces some new characters into the fray, namely your mom and dad. If you pick the kid stuff trade during character creation you get to visit your parents over in New Atlantis. This one pops up as an activity again after leaving the lodge in New Atlantis for the first time so just set it as active and follow the quest markers to your parents house. They're of course very happy to see you and they'll also happily let you use your old bedroom to rest. You actually find a nice little surprise here as your mom patched up your old backpack for you so you can still use it. Equipping this pack gives you 10 extra carrying capacity which is nice early on but you'll probably want to keep something on that gives you boost capabilities. You can also grab anything in the room or in the house if you want to which you can then sell for a bit of early credits plus there are some food items and crafting materials in the kitchen. But it turns out your parents won't just spoil you when you're at home. They also came to visit me at Constellation not just to look around the place but also to hand me this very nice pistol as a reward. It has really high base damage plus it comes with large magazine and high velocity mods. So you have a max size of 15 and the pistol is more accurate and has more range. You can further mod it at a weapon workbench to make it even more powerful but even without any additional modding this is a pretty nice weapon to have early on in the game. The only downside is that the ammo type 0.45 caliber does not drop that often from enemies so make sure you stock up at any weapons vendor to keep using it. And there might be even more gifts down the line if you keep playing 
playing, although you do need to keep in mind that as long as you have the kid stuff trade, you're paying 2% of your total credits to your parents each week. If at any point you don't want to do this anymore, you can talk to your dad and tell him that you want to stop paying. This means they'll have to move out of the apartment so you can't visit them anymore and unfortunately I did not receive an update on their location either. So it seems like you don't get to visit your parents anymore after. Of course, if you tried this and were able to find them again, let us know. But either way, it's up to you if you want to keep them in your life or if you cut your support after you receive that pistol. Or you could go with Hero Worshipped, a feature that is back from Oblivion, although instead of completing an entire quest line for it, you can get it right from the start. They also showed this trait in the direct before launch, so when you choose this, a yellow haired fan will randomly show up while exploring the galaxy asking for your attention. And sure, he might be a bit annoying at first, but if you go along and have him join your ship, he can actually be pretty useful. He namely has the weightlifting skill at level 2, which means he can carry 165 kilograms worth of stuff when you trade with him. So he is now basically my personal piggy bank that stays on my ship. Through this menu, you can also equip different outfits for him, and he can also join you on many adventures. Starfield is overall pretty serious in its storytelling, so I actually like the fact that this fan is the comedic relief, as he says some very bad but also kind of funny one-liners every so often. It's also noted that he gives you gifts, but I didn't get anything yet, so of course, if you also decide to take him with you, let us know what you get in the comments. But even without the gifts, I can recommend this trade for sure. Now, it's also important to know what the other trades do, as some are kind of similar to one another. There are a couple of faction-related ones that I recommend saving for a second playthrough, since at the start, you have no idea what these factions are and why you'd want to join one of them. Same goes for the religious traits you can pick, like Raised Universal or Enlightened, which allow you access to a special faction chest that has some map packs, an outfit and other items, but can also be used to store your own gear. Luckily, you can also remove your allegiance to these factions and lose benefits from this trade by talking to your faction leader. Both the chest and faction leader for the Sanctum Universum are located close to the mast in New Atlantis. Take the tram, exit the station and head left towards the giant Free Star Collective Embassy. To the left of that is the building we're looking for. If you picked Raised Enlightened instead, you want to take the elevator down to the well from the Moss Tram Station. Keep heading straight out of the elevator until you run into a security office, then take the stairs behind you and turn left around the corner to enter the House of the Enlightened. And there is one final religion-based trait you can pick, Serpent's Embrace, that works a bit different. Instead of a faction chest, you get a buff whenever you graph jump to a different system. This buff gives you 25 health and stamina, which is pretty good and lasts for 4 in-game hours. Meaning that if you don't use the wait feature to speed up time, you don't even have to graph jump all that often to permanently increase 2 major stats by a significant amount. Now I haven't found the faction representative for House Varun yet, which you ally yourself with as part of this trade. Like, I tried checking their embassy in New Atlantis, but it's unfortunately closed, but if you did find them, please let us know in the comments. And more traits are actually removable if you don't want them anymore, like Empath or Alien DNA. You just need to find a doctor and pay them 10,000 credits, which isn't all that much later down the line. There's one in New Atlantis that you can find by going to the Moss Tram Station, exit the station and go right towards the residential district and you'll soon come across a Reliant Medical Clinic. Enter the clinic and go to the doctor's office and if there's a dialogue option that lists one of your traits, pick it so you can ask the doctor to remove it. I also quickly wanted to touch on Wanted, a trait that can give you some unique dialogue options, which is actually true for some other traits as well. But apart from that, the being hunted part didn't trigger that often for me, at least while focusing on the main story. You also get a damage boost when you're at low health, but you don't really want to be at low health, as that means you can easily die from a stray bullet and then you have to restart from your last save. So, so far, it's kind of hard to recommend this one. Of course, let us know which traits you will end up picking and subscribe for way more spoiler-free Starfield tips and tricks like this. A like would be awesome as well and check out our video on the best early skills you want to get by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one, goodbye.